Hey guys, this is Dan from LearningCameras.com and here I've got a couple new tripods that just came in that I wanted to check out and give you kind of a review for. These are carbon fiber tripods. They're straight from Amazon. I'll go ahead and put, or actually they're from Adorama. They're the Flashpoint tripods which are made uh, through Adorama. So you get a little bit of a discount on them. They're very low cost because you're getting them from them. They're, they're not a big name brand tripod. So uh, the actual model numbers, this is the F2228. And then this is a lighter duty F2127. And both of these tripods just came in. I wanted to try something carbon fiber. My other tripods are very heavy duty aluminum. These are much lighter tripods. You're looking at um, on this one 2.67 pounds. This one it's just under three and a quarter. You really can hardly tell the difference between the two of them though. And so these are kind of your entry point for decent tripods that are carbon fiber. Now a couple of things that I just wanted to point out to you. This one is a four, four uh, basically has four sections on it, and the lighter duty one has three sections on it. Now the heavier duty one says it can carry about 22 pounds. Honestly, I'll show you a little bit later. We'll mount some cameras on these and show you. I don't think that's really true. Uh, I'd probably put about 10 pounds max on this, and uh, looking on this one, probably about seven, eight pounds. My 5D3 with a 7200 it works on this. It probably wouldn't put any more on that. Not that it's going to fail, but just that it gets a, a little bit wobbly and uh, you have to worry about someone kicking it over or something like that. Now, uh, some of the goods and the bads. The good things are these are very lightweight. Honestly, they kind of feel like plastic. The downside is that lightweight doesn't lend itself to a very heavy duty feeling. They're going to be very top heavy. You're talking about a three pound tripod with potentially 10, 11, 12 pounds worth of equipment on top of it. That's just not going to feel like a very heavy duty tripod and it's going to be a little bit top heavy. Now one of the advantages to this one is going to be the larger height. Now it does give you about seven inches more than you're going to get out of this one, which is the lighter duty one. You can see the two of them raised. So you're going to get about seven inches more out of them. Now here's the only thing about this larger one that I do not like. The very last section is a lot smaller. I really wish that they had just made the legs a little bit longer and had uh, actually not had this fourth section. This fourth section, I really don't like using it too much. And if you take a look at the overall length of this tripod, when it's folded up, it is really small. I, I, that is just really small. You're not talking about a lot. To just extend those legs just a couple more inches would have given you a much uh, a much better feel with three sections on there, all a little bit heavier duty. See, each section's a little bit smaller than the next. So by the time you get to that fourth section, you really get to about the diameter, very small diameter, of the lighter end duty tripod. On the lighter end duty tripod, you do have that third section and it is a very small diameter and it is the whole section on there is gonna be that smaller bit. The, uh, the problem with this is that really to get any height out of it, you do have to use that last section. Whereas on this tripod, honestly, if I undo that last section and I, uh, I can go ahead and put up the center section with that, and I do find that I get just a decent amount of height on there that when I put on, now I'm not that tall, so I'm only 5'10", 5'11", and if I put a camera system on there, it's right about eye level. If you're that height or shorter, you're gonna like this because you can basically just put out the three legs. It's gonna feel much more sturdy for you. Uh, that's why I do wish that they had made those legs a little bit longer. Also, I did check to see if they had another, these are basically sections in here. I did ask and see if they had any extra sections to make this a little bit taller and uh, they do not have any on their website. So basically this is gonna be the max height you're gonna get out of that when you're using the three sections instead of the four sections. So that's a little bit of a downer on that. And uh, so if you do end up using that four section, I will say it's not extremely sturdy. I wouldn't wanna to put too much weight on this lopsided. I don't get the feeling that it's gonna break or anything like that. It just, I, they're pretty thin. Uh, and then the other problem with it is I don't find that many of these slide extremely easily. Every so often you're going to get a jam up. It's not too bad most of the time, but on a couple times I have gotten it to jam just a little bit on the legs. So it's not quite as smooth as I would have liked. And even the center stack does have a little bit of a jamming point right at the second. Uh, basically these are two stacks on top of each other. And right when you get to that second stack, that's when you begin to notice it. 
uh, jam just a little bit. So not as smooth as I would have liked. Now this is a lot cheaper than you're going to get on some of your other tripods. They do have these on sale right now, and I'm not sure what the prices will be when you check out this video, but I'll put the links up. This one they've got for about 120 right now, and this one is right around that 170 mark. Now normally the prices on this, this is going to be 220, and this one's going to be right about that 160, 170 mark. That's a lot of money to pay for a tripod. For the 120, it's not bad at all. I mean, you're gonna pay that for a decent aluminum tripod. You're gonna pay more than that really for a decent aluminum tripod, and it's not gonna be as lightweight as this. So it's not a bad price point at those sale prices. At full price, you're probably not that far from getting a little bit nicer tripod. So I'm not sure that I would pay that amount, but uh, at 160, this is a pretty, pretty good deal for getting into that carbon fiber, and this one for about 120. Now one thing that I do like is you can flip these up right here and extend the legs. So basically you could get all the way down low with this tripod and still get a really nice shot and then clip that back into place and you're going to get that. Now the telescoping right here, this one does have a little bigger head on it than this one. And so it makes your uh, basically your tripod mount a little bit nicer. So here I wanted to show you the case I'll most likely be using this in. This is uh, with a heavier duty tripod. This does have three legs extended, not that fourth, and then the center post all the way extended. This is what I say that this gets me pretty close. If I stand up all the way, I'm a little tall for it. If I kind of crouch down a little bit, I can pretty much get behind the camera and use it in this orientation. Now this is a little bit taller head than most, so putting on a little bit smaller ball head, then uh, this is pretty tall. So if you use anything a little bit smaller, it's going to be maybe even a little bit lower, and you might not be able to um to get away with this but you could extend that fourth extension just a little bit and keep it like that the whole time and then just use your other three to compensate on the heights and your center post to compensate on the height now overall even with it in this orientation i wanted to keep it like this instead of tripod mounting it right here i want a tripod mounted on the camera because honestly when i'm shooting a wedding i'm changing lenses all the time i don't have time to be taking off tripod mounts on this so either i'm going to uh, add an extra tripod mount to this right here on this uh, on this lens and keep it there the whole time or I'm going to be tripod mounting my camera at the base of the camera in this orientation it's you know it's stable it's not going to fall over uh, it's pretty good I wouldn't be upset using it like this but overall it's just not quite as heavy duty and smooth as I would have liked but it will do the job you're talking about $160 for a carbon fiber tripod. This is very lightweight. Uh, this is a pretty heavy rig and it's off center. And so it's really not that bad at all. And I, I would use it if you're kind of entering into that price point, not too bad at all. So you're looking at 160 for this one, 120 for this one. If you can get this on sale, once again, this is a 2127. And this tripod is the 2228. And both of these are made by Flashpoint at Adorama. And you should see the link on the website if you can't see it right here. And uh, basically that gives you an idea of some of the features with this. And we'll take a look at some of the ball heads and, and different head options that you can get for these as well. But this is your basis on these two tripods. If you're doing anything lighter than this, uh, this tripod is gonna get you just fine. Honestly, it doesn't feel much different than, than this one. Although you can see the difference, it really is not that much different. And especially if you have to keep that fourth leg extended, it really is not that much weaker than you're going to get on the 2228. So it's not a bad way to go, say, 40 bucks. Um, but if you can afford it, this is going to be a little heavier duty, probably last you a little bit longer and support a much larger weight.